Hello, good afternoon everybody. Um, today we are here from Code Android, the Singapore user group. This is Wed. And uh, I'm Ziyong. Um, and today we are going to show you the new ADP 1.5, which is the new cupcake firmware of Android, which is released by um, HTC this morning. Yeah. So, Wed, can you show us some of the features? Okay, the, pretty much one of the first things you'll notice when you're on the home screen is the new screen widgets. Now what you can see here are two widgets that are new. One that shows the current media player and you can quickly access the music or your, your playlist from here and also the ta calendar widget. I haven't got much but I've got something very soon for a work con call. Uh, another thing we have is the live folders. These pop up and show you basically at the moment just contacts that you have. Um, you can add them just by going to holding down the button, sorry, choosing the folders, and you can basically uh, choose contacts with phone numbers, start contacts, or all contacts. So it's a quick way of getting to your contact list at the moment. But other things can be added here without much hassle. Okay, you may have noticed that also now in this new version, there's the smoother um, menu, anim menu, menu animation. So things pop up and smooth away, uh, hide away. Um, I don't know if you can tell with the uh, refresh rate of the camera, but things seem to slide in a lot smoother. Uh, another function, which you can't see on the home screen, but you can see on uh, applications like Gmail, which I'll just start up now, is the auto-rotate functionality. So when Gmail starts up, all you need to do is twist the, twist the phone. Without pressing any buttons, it'll auto-rotate to whatever orientation you have the phone. So that's pretty useful. Um, while I'm in the Gmail application, you can see some new functionality. On the left-hand side of each mail, you have the option to select and highlight and tick each, each mail. So from here, you can multi-select and then choose delete to delete multiple mails at once, which saves you a lot of time when dealing with spam. Um, so over to Xiong about now how to use the browser. Okay. All right. Thanks. So on the browser, um, there are significant changes to the browser. Um, the most significant uh, improvement to the browser uh, I, that I will show you is the the loading speed. You you probably could tell if you actually have your version 1.1 1 .1, uh, firmware. Now the loading of the website is now much faster. You know now you can browse your 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 website uh, much faster. It loads up much faster and smoother. Um, apart from that, um, some new features, you can now find text on the page, right? You could find um, text like, say, if I look for the word space, and you automatically find the word that's on the page itself. Um, also, there's a new and enhanced copy and paste function. Um, what in the past, when this menu pops out, there's only select all, cut all, copy all, and paste. Now you could actually select text um, such as ACE instead of the whole word space or the number of the any number of words that you want to highlight and copy uh, in a sentence. And another thing, uh, one of the key highlights of uh, this update, which you have already seen earlier, uh, probably had a glimpse on, is the virtual keyboard. Um, so as you can see, if you have Right now, if you have a text view and you press on the text view, the virtual keyboard will pop up automatically. And um, as you type, you would see that uh, there is a preview of the alphabet that you're typing. So if you have fat fingers like me, you can actually see the alphabet you're typing. And uh, on top of that, there's also um, uh, auto correction and user dictionary. So let's say if I spell a word wrongly, if I want to spell soccer, and I spell it wrongly, it will suggest to me if I'm spelling soccer or I'm suddenly spell, selling, spelling some other word and I could just press soccer and it will auto-correct for me. Yeah. Okay, back to Wayne on the camera function. Yeah. Uh, one of the much touted features that people wanted to see was a video recording. So here's the preview of the camcorder application, just uh, videotaping my S101. To start, you can hit the trackball or the, or the camera button or the on-screen display. Now the, the image starts up pretty quickly, does very smooth recordings with no real problems, and you can press again to stop. 
Uh, neat feature which you can do now when we go back to preview the video is to share it on the internet. The sharing options that we have is via Gmail, messaging or direct upload to YouTube, um, which is pretty neat. Uh, when you go back to the camera options, I'll just go back and set it to the camera. When you take a picture, you may notice it's also a little quicker to take a picture. Whereas uh, in the previous 1.1 firmwares, it wasn't so quick. So when we go to browse the picture, we can also upload it to Picasa if you have an account. So you basically just choose it, let it upload, set the options, and then it will appear later on and do this in the background, which is kind of neat. Um, so I think that's all we have. Yeah, that's about it, the uh, things that we could show. Uh, there's also things like the stereo Bluetooth, which obviously you couldn't show uh, on the video. But do stay tuned uh, to the next Android 1.5 or Cupcake.